Hey Adamo, it's Logan at Perkins Motorplex here in Mayfield, Kentucky. I think you were just on the phone with Scott. I uh, wanted to give you a walk around of this silver F-250 you had talked to us about. Uh, we've got it parked right here on the road, right next to the highway. So if you hear some of that road noise as I do this video, that's why. Um, but I started to move it to get it in space so that you could uh, hear it run and all that stuff. But I thought you probably want to hear it start uh, on a cold start in the morning. So it's kind of hard to do uh, while videoing, uh, just, just me videoing. But uh, let's see if I can do this for you. So we're going to open it up. See, it looks like it's got airbags on it. You can see the switch there. All right, let's see if this cranks right up here. Everything good there. Electronics all look good. Fired right up. Obviously that gas engine. And first start of the morning, no lights. Everything came on just like it should. So now let's do a walk around on it. I want to point out any dings and scratches I see. Um, I would expect I'll see quite a few things to point out. It's got 200,000 miles on it. A used truck with 200,000 miles. Uh, a 250 as well. So, all right. So I've got the hood ready to show you underneath that here in just a second. But uh, if you look down the driver's side, extremely clean down that side. Now, we've got moisture in the air. We've had you know, rain several days here this week. So that's gonna cover up probably some of the lighter scratches. But the major stuff, you know, when I look down this body line here, I'll, I would be able to see, you know, big waves in the paint or big dings, uh, gashes, anything like that. And I got really nothing on that side. Back bumper looks pretty good. Looks like, so right here you can see where Maybe they backed into something and it got into this plastic, kind of bent that up a little bit and you can see the crease right there. Um, so again, that's the first of probably several things we can point out. There's another one uh, on the 200,000 mile truck. We, we never gonna tell you that, hey, this truck's perfect uh, because it's not. I mean, you can see, it's like a little warp on the tailgate right there. In fact, to me, that looks like the tailgate was let down onto something maybe. Uh, uh, bed looks great. It's got a few little like gashes in that uh, spray and bed liner there, but uh, nothing just really scraping through to the uh, to the paint there. And the uh, ball in the bed looks good. Go ahead and tailgate looks good. Opens nice and easy. Latch is good. See a chunk out of the spray in right there. And I am really impressed with the passenger side. Uh, really more of the same. I'm not seeing, I mean, like, there's gonna be little scratches and stuff like that right there. In fact, that's, some of that might even be polished that'll come off, but like, so, you, so you're gonna have little scratches like that, of course, but I'm not seeing anything major on this side. Not sure how important cosmetics are on a truck like this. The wheels look good. Tires are great. Those are uh, Ridge Grappler tires, of course. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do the, the frame here in just a second. Rims look good. Wow, that's, that is awesome. That main frame line right there, uh, just in my little experience, uh, you would be able to see if the truck was gonna get eat up by rust here soon if the main frame line is starting to show it, but it's not at all. So undoubtedly, there's gonna be some surface rust through there, but you also see it really start to eat up these shocks too, and that one looks great. Very pleased with that. Lines look good. Of course, we do an underspray on all of our vehicles. Even if it's a Nissan Altima, you know, we do an underspray on it, uh, makes them look better. And then if they have like a red clay stain or something like that, we want that to go away. We want it to look nice and clean under there. But rust is rust and corrosion is corrosion. So we know that 
if something's rusted, whether it's painted or not, you're gonna see it. Uh, so very pleased with the underneath of that one. Looked very clean. And I don't know an alternator from a radiator, radiator so I'm the last guy that's gonna be able to just point out all the different parts and stuff I see here, but I can look through these windows that the truck gives us and uh, look for signs of rust or corrosion, anything like that. You can see how nice and clean that is all the way through. No knocking, no ticking. Sounds just like the 6.2 gas is supposed to. Really, really good. All right, let's go to the interior. Let's see if I can see these. Headlights got a little grime on them. Fog lights, couple scratches. Nothing busted. Nice. Let's get this back door open. Truck smells good, smells like cloth. Uh, maybe a maybe a hint of smoke from long ago, but man, it's super faint. That would be that'd be a little picky of me to point that out. I, I'm gonna say a non-smoker. Driver door looks good. Sounds like airbags are working. It's great. Awesome. No rips or tears in the seats. Back seat looks great. Headliner pretty clean. Awesome, man, I'm a fan. This is, uh, this is great. Give it a little gas. Strong. And it looks like the hinge on the there you go. It's fixed. Uh, we see that 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 hinge gets hinge gets worn out or that catch right there on the glove box. You can hear it catching right now. So that's a little cosmetic thing. Books are in there. That's good. Storage. Awesome. Center console looks good. Middle seat looks good. This is a truck. This is a Haas, and it's got plenty of life left in it. Let's go ahead and hit these aux switches. I'm curious if that uh, lighting up front is set up. Let's see here. Got the lights on. Let's do some fog lights here. Yeah. Headlights, fog lights, got your LEDs up there. Nice. 200,000 mile truck, you just, you know, there's no guarantee that any of that stuff's gonna be just ready to rock. And uh, in this case, it is. What an awesome truck. Let me know what other questions you have. Very, very pleased. 17 um, F250 gas burner, extended cab, XLT. Um, just a really functional, very well taken care of uh, F-250 for the year in miles. Very pleased.